Hello everyone, in this second episode of risk management, we will look at how to properly calculate risk for each trade and position size. The risk management and position size are very much related to each other. As a trader, we need to apply money management to our daily trading routine. Did you know that many traders lose money due to bad money management? Without proper money management rules, we can face some problems that are sometimes not clearly visible and can be fatal to our trading journey. Many traders make a common mistake by investing in fixed amounts of money. This is a very simple technique, but if applied incorrectly, creates two general problems. One, you can risk a lot in any open trade. And in this way, you can blow up your entire account very easily. And the second, you can risk too little for each open trade and your account will not grow properly. Investing in a fixed amount for each trade will prevent you from properly growing your trading account as your account balance grows. Using the fixed amount technique, will prevent you from taking advantage of the compound interest power that we will discuss during the next episode. Most professional traders use the technique of investing a fixed percentage of their account balance on each trade. A normal percentage of risk advised in trading is between 1 and 3% of the account balance for each open trade. For the aggressive trading approach, the risk percentage is relatively high and in most cases is over 5% of the account balance. So let's say you have a $10,000 in your account. The maximum loss should be not more than 2%. With this data, your maximum loss should be only 10,000 multiplied by 2% that, that it is only $200 for each trade. So, a 2% loss for each trade means you have to make a mistake 50 times in a row in order to lose your entire account. The way to measure trading risk is by using your chart according to your trading strategy. So, let's look at the chart and build a trading scenario. I will make a brief presentation of the benefits of the Whitebit crypto exchange. Whitebit is one of the largest European cryptocurrency exchanges. What is really surprising about this broker is that they possess European exchange and custody licenses. Whitebit meets the KYC and AML requirements. That means that you will have reliable protection of assets and their securities. You can also make passive income from your money even if you don't intend to invest in certain time periods. Earn up to 30% of passive income on Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT. These interest rates are impressive compared to other brokers. They have also low trade rates up to 0.1%. You can trade more than 450 trading pairs and their referral program offers 40% revenue from referral trading commissions. If you want protected funds and earn more passive income, you can open an account via the referral link in the comment section below. For this example, I'm going to use Bitcoin in order to calculate the risk and the position size for our example. So let's suppose that we already know our trading strategy and we are trading a breakout strategy in our example. This is our corrective pattern. And let's suppose that we are looking at the breakout point and our breakout point was below this area. So let's suppose that we need to sell Bitcoin at 38. This is our trading scenario. After defining our selling point, 37, I'm going to look at for the stop loss that I need to apply for this trading scenario. And price after that should continue moving lower. 
In this trading scenario, we are going to look at only the stop loss. If I'm going to place the sell orders, we will see that this is how it is created a trading plan in advance. In advance. And after that, we need the price to continue moving lower. What is important for our topic today is only the red area that is within this zone. So we need to calculate the risk for this open trade. For this purpose, I'm going to use a, per, uh, a paper trading from TradingView with an account balance of 10,000. You can open it in this way if you want. Reset paper trading. You can place your balance. I'm using it as 10k. Reset and here you have it 10,000. So let's go for our example. I'm going to click with the right side of the mouse and we are going to go on trade and sell Bitcoin. After placing sell, we will see that a, no, uh, a new window will be opened. We have to click the stop loss and our take profit target. The risk for this trade that I'm going to use will be 2%. And as you can see, the calculation is done and it is $200 of the 10,000 balance account. Let's suppose that our selling price was 37k and our stop loss limit was 40,500. In this way you will see the amount of the units that we need to sell on Bitcoin. After that you can take this amount, you can go inside the broker and you can sell the specific uh, with the specific data. This is the, the number of coins that you need to sell on Bitcoin. You have to use the selling price 35, 37k and the stop loss should be placed as 40,000.5k. So this is our trading scenario. For the take profits, you need to focus on your strategy. For this example, it doesn't make uh, any difference to us because we want only the stop loss and the entry point. If you want to calculate also that, you will see that after the price will move lower, it is going to make a decent profit. So that is very high. It is approximately 2.3% higher uh, from our balance. I'm going to take also another example. So this is a sale example on Bitcoin. Let's say that I'm going to buy in this scenario. This is our pattern that I'm going to join here. This is a triangle pat triangular pattern. And according to my trading strategy, I want to buy above this point. So let's say that at 39,500 is the price that I want to buy in this scenario. The stop loss should be below the previous low. So this is where I need to position my stop loss for this example. We can look at our scenario that we are going to buy. We don't know and we have to make the calculations for the bullish movement. But what it matters is only the entry point and the stop loss point for the risk management on this trade. So let's go again. Let's click with the right mouse we have to buy this time look at the buy button here we have to press the stop loss and the take profit and you will see that everything appeared on this part of uh, uh, the trading for this example i'm going to make it only one percent for this trade the amount at risk will be only $100. We are going to buy this time. The buy price that we want to buy is $39,500 in this scenario. And the stop loss is $36. Let's keep it this way. This is 
our 36 point and here we have the amount of coins that we have to buy on Bitcoin with a buy price 39,500 and the stop loss at 36. So if the price will continue up and it will continue down like it moved in this scenario, let's suppose that this is the stop loss was filled in this scenario, the maximum loss that we faced in this trade was only $100 so it is very easy this is the amount of coins that you need to buy on your broker with this trading strategy hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future contents thanks for watching bye bye